Hey lovelies, welcome back to another video. It's time for a base game build. So I want to say this right away. You're seeing this fence here and this is not to see. It's totally base game, this fence and a lot of the stuff that I used in this video is part of the new environment objects that we got a while ago. So I used the bb.showlifeeditobjects.g to access them. They are part of the game, their base game. I knew that a lot of people would be confused probably and would think that it's CC or that it's not base game but all of this here is base game so this is really exciting because finally I used a lot of these objects I haven't really done that for other builds even though I was super pumped when these new objects were announced but for some reason I don't know it can be annoying to go through all these objects and all that and I wanted to keep it simple but a base game build is totally different because you are so limited with what the game has to offer so I really wanted to use anything that I could use so I activated the cheat and I used many of these objects the fence for example planting pots decoration objects just a lot of the stuff on the exterior and I can totally recommend using these objects for a base game build they are fun in general but this this opened up a whole other world of possibilities for a base game build in my opinion. So as you can see, it's a very simple, suburban, cute, traditional house. So I made a poll in the community tab on YouTube where I asked you guys if you would like to see a modern or a traditional base game build. And the poll was almost tied, so I thought it would be only fair to do both and maybe even a third one. which would be a mix of both stats. I will definitely try to come up with something for that idea because someone left a comment there in the community tab and said, why don't you do a mix of both? This would be great. And I thought, yeah, why not? I'm definitely going to give it a try. I've never done anything like that before. So I really hope that this is going to work out. However, the poll was tied. I decided that I would like to make both styles and actually modern one with, I think, 53% so I plan to start off with the modern build because it's still one but then I don't know but I was trying to build something modern and it didn't really work out and then I had a great idea for this build here so we are going to start off with the traditional base game build but the modern base game build is going to follow in the next couple of days I'm going to work on that later today so don't worry I'm going to release both versions and yeah here we have a really fun traditional yet kind of crazy build because as always I use the terrain and rocks and just lots of crazy stuff so I wanted to keep it simple but at the same time there's a lot of stuff going on. I like to build base game builds that don't really look base game. At least I try and I hope that it kind of worked in this case. It was a bit tricky. This little wall here, the stone wall, is also part of these objects and these plants actually as well but you can simply find them in the regular by area as well but I just placed them and the cool thing is that a lot of these things don't even cost any simoleons <laughs> so you could technically build a very very cheap base game starter house these rocks are also part of these new objects i think that they look very happy they are so bright and they just kind of i don't know make the whole build look more friendly and this planting pot thingy in the front is also part of the new menu so as I said, I can totally recommend checking these things out. It's super amazing. And these red planting pots. When I added all these things, I just kind of felt like that the whole build was coming together because the layout itself is quite simple. I mean, we have the little chimney in the front, which kind of makes it a bit more interesting. But generally, it's very suburban, very cozy and homey and I used a glass roof on the right side which is of course also base game and I created this little patio area because the shape of the house initially was too simple so I added something on the left and on the right and then I was kind of happy and the shape looked quite interesting. Also what I did for the first time here was I used the sim supplies tool which makes it possible to simply disable packs so you have the packs installed on your PC but you can simply 
disabled them, which is exactly what I did here. So I disabled all packs except the base game. And the good thing is you don't have to filter by pack. You don't have to worry about using some other stuff accidentally that is part of any pack. So I simply disabled all the packs and it was really, really simple to build. I could just use anything that I saw. I didn't have to pay attention to which pack an object belongs. It's it's really cool. So what you do is you simply search for the sim supply, disable packs, sims fall. You can simply search this on Google. It will immediately pop up. And then you simply go to the game properties for the sims fall in origin. You enter a command line and then it is disabled and you can disable any pack you want but there is a base game quick select which is what I used and it works like a charm and I would definitely do this for all my base game builds in the future. It's just so much better. Even if you are creating a build with just limited packs you can simply disable all the other ones. So in case you haven't watched my last video I have a fun little shell challenge going on so if you are interested in participating check out my last video. I'm overwhelmed with the response. I already checked a couple of builds in the gallery and there are already a couple of submissions and I'm just super excited. They all look so amazing and I kind of realized what I have got myself into because they all look so good. It will be so hard to pick a couple of favorites and I already want to say that I love all of them and that I'm so grateful for anyone who participates so it's definitely super difficult to kind of pick a couple of those and I mean the challenge has only started there's still a couple of weeks to go so I cannot wait to see what happens I know that a lot of you are still working on something so I'm really excited for this and I think it's super interesting to see how different different simmers approach this the starts are so different and it's just a lot of fun and when i built the challenge i kind of had something in mind how i would build it basically and it's super interesting that some of you actually followed this idea you had no idea about this i mean you had no way of knowing what i would have made out of this but it's interesting to see that some people exactly did that and others completely surprised me and i think both versions are super, super exciting. It's just so interesting to look at these. I constantly check the hashtag in the gallery when I'm in game and take a look if there's any anything new. It's just super exciting. And thank you so much for anyone who's already submitted their beautiful builds and to anyone who plans to participate. So if you want to do that, just check out my last video. And yeah, I cannot wait to see what you will all build. What I can say is you are all so super talented. This is what I can already say by just taking a look at the stuff that has been submitted so far. It's just super, super amazing and I'm really excited. So here, this is the interior, as you can see. Furnishing with base game can be tricky, but I really like how this turned out, actually. It would be so cool if we could have any debug objects or something that is base game and that is furniture, because you can use a lot of these things to create an amazing exterior. But for the interior, we are still limited with all the stuff that we got back then. I mean, there were a couple of patches with things, but still, it's not that much. I created this little nook on the left side, right next to the front door, where I just put a shoe rack and a mirror and stuff like this and then I have a very small kind of living room area I guess you could say so at first I only wanted this to be a fireplace and two armchairs but then I noticed that I was totally running out of space so eventually I had to remove the painting I put a sofa there so this is actually the living room but I didn't want to get rid of this area here with the mirror because I feel like this little nook kind of makes the whole build so homey and kind of realistic looking so I left it that way and the kitchen is kind of big. It's a really big open kitchen. And in my past builds, like a couple of months ago, I used to build huge kitchens and I received comments all the time of people saying, your kitchens are way too huge. And after that, I kind of noticed that this is totally true. I always appreciate your feedback. And then I built smaller kitchens, but this time I think we are kind of for once back to the bigger kitchens probably but it was a lot of fun to furnish this at first as you saw I used a gray color on the walls but then I used this brown so it looks even more warm and inviting kind of there are four bedrooms in total so there is enough space for a 
Kind of decent sized sim family, I would say. And there are three bathrooms, one at the bottom, the one that I'm furnishing right now. And then there are two at the top, but one of them only has a toilet and a sink, like some type of guest bathroom. Because I had a really weird floor plan situation going on because of the stairs, because I built the whole house diagonal. So of course I couldn't place the stairs diagonal. You cannot do that. So it created a weird room at the top, which is triangular and this is just a little guest bathroom in the corner but at least I was able to kind of use this space for something. <laughs> So this is one of the kids' rooms. I kind of had a hard time to really decide for style because I wanted this to look as rustic as the rest of the house, which can be a bit tricky for kids' rooms. Also, there wasn't that much space, but I still wanted to include as many bedrooms as possible. So it's a proper family home, kind of. And I have totally forgot to say this. I built this on a 30 by 30 lot, so it's not super huge this time. You guys said that you would like to see smaller builds, so I, I'm doing that. This is a 30 by 30 and I'm also going to build something tiny soon. So I hope that this is kind of small enough <laughs> for the start. So this is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a perfect weekend and as always you can find this build in the gallery. You can find all the information down below and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.